Hello everyone, my name is Kirkwood Hines. I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And today I'd like to show you how to change the paper size for our drawing templates. Uh, While well, using the same title block that we've already painstakingly set up with all our linked properties and all the units and other drawing properties that may, we may want in our template. So, to adjust the paper size, we need to go to the Properties menu. So to bring that up, just right click in blank space and go to Properties. If you've never been to this menu, this is where you adjust the sheet scale, your type of projection, but we can also select the sheet format and size from here. So it's going to already be populated uh, with a list of sizes and sheet formats. And if you just selected one, say, out of this menu and hit OK, uh, it's not going to give you the results we're looking for. It's going to apply this new title block and sheet format to our drawing sheet, totally swap them out. Uh, we're just looking to adjust the paper size at this point. So instead of doing that, you want to come down here to Custom Sheet Size. And when you do this, it's going to pull whatever width and height dimension it has from this template you have selected up here into these fields. So I have a B size selected. So as soon as I hit Custom Sheet Size, it's going to pull a B size uh, drawing dimensions into these fields, which is great. But if I just hit OK from here, it doesn't make any changes. So this is a little trick you have to watch out for when you're doing this operation. Pull in the size by selecting size B, then go to custom sheet size, and then just make a little edit, like deleting the last digit and replacing it. In this case it's just a zero, so I can just delete it. And you can see it adjusting the preview. So now if I hit OK, it's changed the sheet size. All that's left to do at this point is uh, move around my sheet format. So I'll go to edit sheet format and we'll increase the size of this border by just dragging it up. And then we need to move our title block. So I'll just group select that and go to move entities so I can move this with a reference point. Grab this bottom corner and just move it over to the corner on my border. So re really quickly we've been able to go from a size A to a size B uh, without remaking our title block or worrying about any copy and, copy and paste errors. So I hope you found this tip useful. For more tricks and tips like this, subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.